Hey, Jessica Rumbai here from Strong is Sexy TV. Um, today's episode is about sugar versus fat and which one is more dangerous when it comes to weight loss. I'm sure you've heard the categories proteins, carbs, and fats, and you probably even know that there's four calories per gram each in protein and carbs and nine calories per gram in fats which is why it makes it seem like it's logical to cut out fats first when you're trying to go on a diet because they're the most dense and that will account for the most calories in your overall diet. That's actually not the best strategy when you're trying to lose weight. So when we remove fat from food, it tends to taste gross, which leads to adding more sugar. I guarantee if you go to the store right now and look at all the nutrition labels of the low fat and fat free foods, you're gonna see that they've actually replaced fat with sugar instead, which is a nightmare when it comes to portion control. Sugar is like the equivalent of crack and it's very addictive and it means that you're not gonna be stopping at the recommended portion size. When there's a lack of fat in your diet, you're gonna feel constantly hungry and moody. You're gonna have these insulin rises and crashes. Fat does very well what carbs and sugar can't do, which is it tells your brain when you've had enough. And I know you that you probably know from experience when you're eating candy and sugary soda and stuff like that, you don't even get full. You don't even realize when you've had too much. But candy and sugar and soda are not the worst culprits because we already know that those are junk food and it's not likely that there's a ton of that in your diet anyway. What's the most dangerous is foods that you don't expect to have sugar in them, starchy foods like cereal, pasta, bread, the condiments like ketchup and salad dressing. And the problem is these foods are marketed as being healthy. So you're reading the label and it says low fat and healthy, but it's a trick because they're just trying to get you to buy it. So don't fall for the trick. You want healthy fats in your diet and stop being afraid of them. But there's some fats that are better for your diet and some fats that are gonna slow your progress down and make you go backwards. Some of the fats that you want to include in your diet are egg yolks, avocado, olive oil, coconut oil, nuts, and nut butter. And then the ones you wanna watch out for are hydrogenated and trans fats, things like margarine or deep fried food. You need to make rational food choices. You need to have enough energy to exercise and you need to know when to stop eating. Portion control is so crucial to weight loss. Long story short, sugar, especially the white refined sugar, should be avoided as much as possible. And you wanna put the green light on some healthy fats and get them in your diet. If you think this change is gonna be easy, think again. I know that old habits are hard to break and trust me, it was hard for me to break my own too. I used to love cereal and crackers and candy and soda and all that but i had to make a change and change my diet but it's not about taking a vow to never eat the things you like again it's just about changing your daily habits and changing what you do most of the time please share this video give it to somebody that you care about if you haven't already subscribed to this channel you can do so now follow me on some social media channels like instagram pinterest and twitter and i'll see you guys next week with another video every tuesday and thursday thank you for watching. Watching Strong as Sexy TV. Bye!